been in the city um, and staying warm together because it's Valentine's Day and we'll celebrate it together. It is. And you know what, though? Uh, what else makes this day that much more special is it is a, a, an incredible human being's birthday today. Yes. Yes. And that would be? Hey, well, we want to wish Hazel, Hazel McCallion. McCallion. Buon compleanno. Hurricane Hazel turns 100, 100 years old today. And were you, did you see, I'm sure you both saw some of that, and all of you at home too, if you've been following some of the footage of her today. Yeah. And uh, well, this whole week really, was a, been a week-long celebration for Hazel. Yes. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, this is going back a couple of years where she just got up and she started to dance. And I have to tell you, uh, a few people were trying to dance with her and she's like, no, no, I'm good. I wanted, I, she just wanted to she's do her thing. very independent. Independent. And, she uh, plays hockey. She played hockey up until a couple of years ago. Yeah. But you know what I remember when she would go out to lunch, uh, for lunch with your father, Lenny? And they would have hour-long lunches and then finish it off with a nice, was it a scotch, honey? No, it's a buka. A sambuca. A sambuca. Sambuca. Uh, you know, I think one of the foremost politicians ever, reigning mayor of the Mississauga for 36 years. She was first elected 1978, right through to 2014. And, uh, and she still is a tremendous uh, force and an influence and uh, really a, a guiding light for so many of us here in the GTA. And I noticed on the news today they had uh, that drive up, you know, that our new drive by, celebrating yeah. drive by um, celebration. I think they gave her a Tim Hortons coffee and they had all these balloons and everybody was just honking. Oh, and <laughs> see that? See that? Nobody wants to cut in. Yeah, that's <laughs> what you made her. her. She is, I mean, we've had her. You know, you obviously your relationship with her, um, when with your with your dad and your family. We've been blessed to have her on her show here live a few times as well. When we've talked about International Women's Day, and uh, and she's been ready to talk about that. What a story and a journey she has had, um, and what a great example for the next generation of young girls out there and uh, and young people out there just to kind of go for it and look at her. She's a, a pillar of strength.